Paraguaianas, o ingresso espaço aéreo classe 1 será prestado sem serviço de informação de nível alerta. Permanece a restrição para o A2 ou 5 até meia zero milha. Cabelo direto em Rio From this vantage point, you get a sense of the scale of the disaster facing this region of the Amazon. Hectare after hectare of pristine forest just going up in smoke. It must be thousands of hectares already, and it's a huge task for the troops who are supposedly reaching this region and going to try and tackle the problem sent by President Bolsonaro. This is the reason for the protests taking place in the large cities of Brazil, in Sao Paulo, in Brasilia, in Rio. And it's also caused the international outcry. This is a global crisis because these are considered the lungs of the world. And just on a human level, on an emotional level almost, it is extremely upsetting, extremely disturbing to see this kind of devastation unfolding in front of you. Now the forest has already been cut back, the timber, and is much weakened. So when the fires have started, they take very easily, particularly given this dry weather. But the activists say the problem is this is just the beginning of the season of dry weather. And things are going to get a lot, lot worse before they improve. So far, Mr. Bolsonaro has blamed the media. He has sacked the head of uh, Brazil's National Space Research Program, which is in charge of tracking the deforestation data. The activists say that he and his policies and his disregard for the environment, for his disregard for the Amazon, is really to blame. But it is undoubtedly one of the more shocking sights I've seen in Latin America.